Hey, yo, it's the Monarch of the Subterranean, legendary lethal lyricist, the master craftsman, Percy P, y'all. And you're listening to Breaking Records Radio. Boom. Hey, yo, hey, yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And hey, you have to go to the don't know. Master A. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> you were able to preserve the pieces that you did like you know like the video with Eminem and stuff and actually something you said too like um like you know thank god for the the generations before you you know having the insight to actually record these live sets they did on cassettes and stuff and be able to sell them because all these little bits and pieces are the things that are still there to help preserve the culture of hip-hop and really show people you know like people like myself who were so far removed from where it started and the time it started you know i'm too young and i'm from canada you know what i mean like i didn't I was yeah. nowhere in a vicinity to ever see any of this stuff without the internet, without people like you who have helped kind of preserve it by keeping these tapes and, you know what I mean, I'm releasing them to the world and letting the world see them. So, you know, I commend you and, you know, everybody in hip-hop history who, is, who has um, recorded a piece of it and, you know, shared it with us because, you know, this, this is the stuff that really helps the rest of the world understand the culture, not just the face value of the music that they see on the mainstream. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I appreciate that. And, you know, and I appreciate people like, to like, Ernie Penny, you call me, the, the photographer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People like him. And, um, you know, people that just think to dictate stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just like that, you know? So, and just the videotape and record or take pictures and Joe Conzo and, People like him and, and, and Henry Chopin, you know, people that thought at the moment, let me get the picture, that's how we, they captured moments back then that right now, these are like famous images that what if they didn't take those little photos that they was taking, 
You know what I'm saying? Back then, 70s and 80s, we wouldn't have that now. Now they got these hip-hop museums popping up. That's the best thing that happened. Hopefully, people will start acknowledging that battle with me and Lil' Finesse, because that was originally like one of the original first footage caught. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, actual footage on the street. Like, damn, I got some footage. It's not no Hollywood, but shout out to that. You know what I'm saying? To those that would think. To, and I would just suggest any body out there, whatever you're doing, don't undermine any moment. Any time you just record it, you record the footage because you never know what you're going to catch. Yeah. The years later, some people on the footage might be big names, but you've got some early stages of them, so don't undermine no footage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact, man. And actually, you know, um, with you bringing the battle back up, I did want to ask too about... Um, because you and Lord Finesse obviously have gone on to have a great relationship, like you did the classic Yes You May, which that's the track you did, you got the hip hop quotable for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, but so was that. Play with my man. When you guys battled, was that uh, was that the first time you guys ever actually met each other, met each other or were you yeah. guys familiar with each other prior yeah. to that? Nah, that was the first time we ever met. Wow. We heard through Tony Webb, the guy who was, you know, introducing us. You know, referee, but it was through him. So when I met him, that's the first time I met him. Died on him that day. And it wasn't nothing, it was no animosity, as you could tell. It was like, we was rhyming, but he was a cool brother. You know, after it was over, he gave each other a pound, yo, you nice, man, you know, you too. So it was during his second album, recording his second album, AG came and he was like, okay, man, for next doing another album, he wants you on. So I wanted to do two songs. I went to the Jazzy J studio. And he had a studio uptown, Allentown Avenue in the Bronx, and um, I went up there to record Yes You May, the first song I did first, Yes You May, and then the second one was Kicking Flavor With My Man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we did. And, um, you know, the rest is history. And then years later, when that movie SBX was being um, filmed and all that, the guy wanted June Oki, shout out to him, producer, director of the movie, but um, he wanted to... Um, do a soundtrack to it. So he asked me if Vanessa to could we make a song, a new song together to kind of revisit that that time period with the shoes in the movie. Yeah. And that's the rematch that you see now. Oh, okay. I was wondering about the rematch and how that came about. Yeah, that that that's that's in the movie. When you go to my playlist, like I said, my playlist, Percy P songs and features, you'll run into the movie on a playlist called SBX, holding down the tradition. When you watch that, you're going to see the whole movie. It's a movie slash musical. So everybody got, everybody's playing themselves in the movie. Party artists in it, Deep Flow, Eve the Hunters in the movie, um, AG, Lord Finesse, that's me, Showbiz in it, We're even playing Fat Joe in that, in that film. But yeah, all of us are playing ourselves, and there's scenes where we actually rap, and, and it's the song. So that song, that scene is an actual song, but it's a scene in the movie. Like it, yeah. So. Ah. People need to watch that whole film, and then you'll lead into it, and it'll show the actual footage that was started from 89, and then, you know, at the end, you'll see that film. But I don't want to give it away, but go watch that movie. It's good. Yeah, I'll, you know what I'm I'll definitely go check that out. Yeah. I never even realized that that was part of a movie. I thought you guys actually came back to, you know, I can tell it was a recorded song, the rematch, but, like, I always wondered kind of what prompted you guys to do that. That's really dope.